Ms. Ojak, Mother Center, the wife and I may still have some few things to get for the Thanksgiving meal. It's mm -hmm. going to be rainy. Should we take along an umbrella? Tonight? Yeah, you know, it's not a bad idea to take okay. the umbrella. But if it's anything like my luck, every time I take the umbrella, I don't need it. But you're the one. It's when I forget the umbrella. My point is, the umbrella has a curse. When ah, I when I gotcha. take the umbrella, it never rains. But gotcha. if I happen to forget it just for five minutes, you know, it's that one minute when it rains. So if you okay. want the rain, maybe don't take the umbrella. Take yeah, it. that's that's I'll my advice. It. But I know Michelle would appreciate you carrying the umbrella. <laughs> her if it rains. So not seeing any rain this morning. We are seeing a gorgeous sunrise though. Even with clouds, it makes for a beautiful picture. And you know, there is a saying that says red sky by morn, sailor takes sailors take warn, but not necessarily red, but we are seeing those pink tints to it meaning that we could be actually looking at some rain to our west, influencing the color of the sky this morning. 52 in Birmingham, 44 in Anniston, 39 with a clear sky in Tuscaloosa. Cooler spots like Jasper at 33, Double Springs and Hamilton in the 40s. Clouds are already beginning to move in. Storm track radar showing a dry track right now. But let me show you what I'm looking at back to our west. There is a long line of rain stretching from Houston, Texas, all the way up to Chicago, but it's a wintry mix well to our north in the Great Lakes states. Otherwise, just a rainy mess anywhere from Memphis to down through southeast Arkansas. So let me sh put the timing on this and show you exactly when this rain is set to arrive. Looks like this rain is going to hold together pretty well between now and noon to our west. But look what happens after about 12 o'clock this afternoon. Once it reaches Alabama, it becomes very lackluster. We could see a few occasional showers between about noon and 3 p.m. But I think about 5 o'clock is when we'll see that line of showers rolling through. And then again, not necessarily going to see soaking rainfall, but enough to maybe make you use the windshield wipers and maybe just enough to be a little bit of a nuisance, especially if you're getting those last minute errands run. So I would recommend grabbing the umbrella if you are out and about later this afternoon and early evening. This rain will continue through the pre dawn hours tomorrow morning. That means before the sun comes up, but as soon as that sun comes up for your Thanksgiving day, the rain will be gone. The sunshine will be returning and temperatures will, re will be rebounding into the lower 70s. So it is going to be a very nice Thanksgiving day holiday. But again, let me show you these rainfall totals. Pretty bleak, not really going to put a dent in our drought, maybe less than one tenth of an inch here in Birmingham. As we fast forward to your turkey day, here's your Thanksgiving day forecast. It's going to be a sunny and bright wind temperatures in the lower 70s. And fast forwarding to that Iron Bowl forecast, kickoff temperatures should be in the lower 60s as you head out about a 10 degree drop from the beginning to the end of that game. And then that sunshine will continue through the end of the weekend and on in through the early part of next week. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast.